Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. President Joe Biden is expected to sign an executive order limiting asylum claims at the southern U.S. border this week. The order will send migrants back to their countries to await lower daily border encounter numbers with a threshold of 2,500 migrants daily. Administration officials, including Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, anticipate legal challenges. Local mayors from Brownsville and El Paso have been invited to a White House meeting for the announcement. Congress is urged to pass a bipartisan border bill for a long-term solution. In other news, two New York police officers were injured in a shootout during a chase in Queens early Monday while addressing a series of moped and scooter robberies. The suspect, 19-year-old undocumented Venezuelan migrant Bernardo Raul Castro Mata, fired at officers before being shot in the leg. Both officers are in stable condition. Mata, who has no prior arrests but is linked to several robberies, is hospitalized and awaiting arraignment. The incident highlights the rise in crime involving New York City scooters and motorcycles. Another evolving story. An elderly woman was killed after a suspect stole the car she was a passenger in at Washington Hospital Center and crashed into a building near the D.C. U.S. Attorney's Office. The driver had left the vehicle when the suspect took it with the elderly parent inside. A patrolling officer witnessed the crash and arrested the fleeing suspect. The unconscious victim was taken to a hospital, but pronounced dead. The vehicle was confirmed as stolen, and the incident is under investigation. The building sustained only minor damage. Names of those involved are yet to be released. In other developments, a Colorado man survived a potentially fatal shooting thanks to his necklace. In Commerce City, about 10 miles from Denver, a 22 caliber bullet fired during an argument was deflected by the man's 10 millimeter wide silver colored chain resulting in only a minor puncture wound. The police, uncertain about the chain's exact metal, speculate it isn't pure silver due to its remarkable bullet-stopping capability. The shooter has been arrested and charged with attempted homicide. This incident underscores the unexpected life-saving potential of accessories. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale!